Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Echo Stretch. In this video we're going to check out Retro Arc. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install it, what you need to get it going. And, uh, well, if you're interested in playing some old ROMs, this is the video for you. I'm going to try to make it under four minutes, so it's pretty quick, uh, straight to the point. Uh, there's going to be a few files we're going to need. You're going to want to get them on the root of your USB stick or USB hard drive, whichever, that you can plug in to your PS4. Uh, that's just uh, just so we're on the same page. It needs to be XFAT. I'm pretty sure FAT32 will work too, but uh, uh, XFAT is what I usually stick with, so we'll just keep it at that. Uh, you're going to need this here, RetroArch. This is all the ROMs that it has. It has... Uh, So it basically has everything you need to have on your USB stick. So it has all your ROMs for for these machines. So and it just basically just sits here in a folder, just like so, on the root, and you're good to go. We're also going to need these two files: the core install and the RetroArch. I'll leave a link in the description for those two files. But let's jump over to the PlayStation, get a jailbroken, and get these files installed. Okay guys, so now that we're over on the computer, I will jump into settings. I will show you that I do not have debug settings. Uh, the network should be enabled, I think. Uh, don't we'll go ahead and enable that. Uh, we'll jump in our web browser, do the usual, clear out everything, delete everything. I think everybody pretty much knows now what we need to do when we jump in our browser. Uh, we'll delete our cookies and clear our website data. Okay, for this jailbreak, I will be using the Game Doctors. Uh, every other time I go to use this here, it works every time flawlessly. So it's very good. I think it's it might be just because there's only three, three uh, payloads. Not much to download and install in your cache. That may have an effect on it. I'm not sure, but uh, it certainly does work very well. So now that our cache is installed, we'll go ahead and hit the PlayStation button. We'll jump over to Settings. And turn off our network. Launch our browser again. And we're going to go with Gold Hen 1.1. We'll go ahead and hit that. We'll give it a few moments here. It usually doesn't take long, but uh, I have have seen it with other hosts take a little bit. So hopefully we can get it done quick and we can keep this video short. Okay, so there's two. Uh, it didn't look like it refreshed that time, so I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh for it. Okay, it's taking a little long, so we might be going into it now. Okay, I think we're on the second phase of it. Give it a few seconds and it looks like everything's gone. So we'll wait 20 seconds here and hopefully the payload will be loaded. Okay, it looks like we're waiting for clients and it looks like we're all set. We'll go ahead and click close our internet browser and Gold head is loaded. We'll jump over to settings, scroll down. We do have debug settings, which is good. That is the third time I tried it, and the three times I did try it, I had success each time. So we're going to package installer here, and I only have the two here, so I'm able to go with install all. If you're not, if you don't have two, you have multiples. Uh, you have to install each one individually, just so you don't install the the other packages you have there. So I'll hit install all. And I'll give that a few seconds. It shouldn't take too long. Uh, your core installs pretty much has everything for it. So I think it has like 74 cores. So it takes a little bit to to install there. Uh, but the actual the actual launcher doesn't take long. See, it should just zip across the screen like so. Okay, 
Okay, so we have both of them installed. Now, we're not gonna launch the, uh, the launcher right now. First thing we're gonna do is just go into the installer, and we'll go ahead and uh, launch that. And it should give us a message uh, confirming that do we want to install the cores. We're gonna hit OK on that. And we have 74 cores. So we'll give that a couple of minutes to install. This is a great time for you guys to hit that subscribe button if you guys ain't subscribed yet. Uh, I try to upload videos daily, as much content as I can for you guys. Uh, I'm always searching for new hosts for jailbreaks, and I like trying them out to see what options we have. Uh, so, there is 74 cores. Like I said before, it does take a little bit to install them, but it shouldn't take too long. So, we'll give that a few minutes here. And we'll see if we can keep the video quick here. Uh, like the jailbreak, jailbreak went quick. Uh, I've been using that there for three times now, and it works great each time uh, the, for the game doctors. I just wish that he would add in uh, WebRTE. And as for Gold 10 1.0 and the beta one, I don't, I don't really need them. 1.1 works fine, and that's the, usually the one I stick with. So you could drop those two and just add WebRTE, and I think that would be a perfectly good uh, good host. So we'll hit OK on that. As you can see, they're still there. Both of them are still there. We're going to go ahead and delete our core installer. We're going to keep our regular one, but delete the core installer. We don't need it anymore. It's already installed everything we need it to do. So we'll hit... Uh, okay on that and uh, you don't have to do this but uh, I like keeping everything a little organized here so I'm just gonna add this to a folder and I'm gonna call it emulators I'll put a nest on there and I'll hit okay okay so I have it in my emulators folder now if you have the uh, the rare file if you did download it and you extracted it to your to the root of your USB then everything should be good when you launch it. Okay, and as you can see, the options are all here. You can go to online updater or whichever you prefer. But if we just hit right on the D-pad, and we'll go to the, that, and we'll just hit it a couple times till we get to the arcade. As you can see, the arcade games are all here, as well as the covers. If you hit circle on one of them, and you can go down, oh, not so quick, but you can go down and download the thumbnail. Now this works kind of different. Uh, X is back and circles forward. So if we hit X, we're gonna go back. So, and circle will go in and we're able to run it. So if you hit right on the D-pad a couple times, you can see the, the games we do have. Uh, there's lots of games. Nintendo is there as well. Super Nintendo, your Dreamcast, Neo Geno, Geo, uh, and then PlayStation. So to launch a game, if we're just gonna launch, we can go to a Driver. I haven't haven't seen that in a long time. Uh, it'd be nice if they made another one for the PS5. I think that'd be great, or even PS4 just to get back in us but we'll just hit circle to launch it and then in here as same as always you can download the thumbnail if you don't have it but uh, we're just gonna run the game so we'll hit circle to run and it should automatically load for us okay you may get a couple of uh, warning message there but that's nothing to worry about you can go into the options and just update your cores and your settings And as you can see, driver is loading here. We'll give it a few minutes here just to get in, and I'll show you that uh, we can actually get into it. Uh, don't expect much for the graphics. Uh, it is what it is. This is the... Uh,
not entirely sure how to set the languages up for that game. It's something that I have to look online and uh, see what the old settings were. But as you can see, the game loads up fine. Uh, we're in demo mode now. I don't, I don't know what I hit, but uh, if I could read what I was hitting, then we should be good to go. But I'm gonna leave the video at that. I don't want to keep it going too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. See you guys in the next video.